23 reasons why Malaysia is better than the Philippines. Let's get in the damn video, man. Welcome to another episode on the Philippines Choose. Today, we'll compare Malaysia to the Philippines. The reason why you may not see too many comparisons because it's not even close. It's not even what? a question why the Philippines cannot compete with Malaysia on several different aspects. In this video, we'll talk about 20 different reasons why it's better. I will also read an article coming from the Philippines admitting to it, as well as go a little bit deeper into cost of living because surprisingly, Malaysia is cheaper than the Philippines. I no. Either, but it's true. Okay. I both countries. I live in the Philippines and Malaysia is far beyond the Philippines on pretty much every different aspect. But before we start that, I want to thank you for a successful 2023. This channel only started a few months ago and already we're over 8,500 subscribers. Thank you so much. We've had some really hard, hard times. But if you've been following the channel, want to hear the truth about the Philippines, yeah. consider subscribing. Yeah, I actually did a video about this guy, the same one, the truth be about the Philippines, what they don't want, want you to know. And it, it was pretty interesting. And look, now it sounds like he's not using a voice changer this time, guys. He's not using the voice changer, so let's see. Liking and sharing this video. If you're a Filipino and too sensitive to hear the truth, if you get offended easily and think this is just from hate, then do not watch this video. It's not for you. I make being honest. videos to try and warn my fellow expats, fellow Americans and tourists that come so he's to the Philippines because of all the lies that are told on other channels just for views. Because of all the rainbow sunshine and butterflies that other vloggers only promote and brown knows about the Philippines without mentioning the truth. Let's start. Here are 20, 21, maybe even 22 reasons why Malaysia is better than the Philippines. Number one, economic stability. Malaysia has experienced consistent economic growth in the past decades. That's true. They have consistently been on the rise. Number two, infrastructure. Malaysia has invested significantly in modern infrastructure. They have better railway systems, better transportation systems, better aviation systems, internet, and they have the Petronas Towers, of course. They also have the second tallest building in the world. Malaysia is far above the Philippines wow. when it comes to infrastructure. And All right, so I feel like right away when he says that I, I need to like plan a trip to go visit Malaysia, Definitely need to plan a trip to go to visit Malaysia and maybe when I, who knows, maybe when I do my trip over to the Philippines, I might do a little stop by in Malaysia and see, do a little comparison video, do my own video. But you know what? Let's keep watching the damn video, man. Keep watching the end, guys. Including bridges, roads, etc. Number three, education. How education. are the people? Malaysia boasts well-established educational institutions, many international universities, that are world renowned exist in Malaysia. Many foreigners go there to study for different subjects, especially when it comes to blockchain and modern technologies. Number four, multicultural society. Malaysia is known for its diverse and harmonious multiculturalism. That's right. If you've ever been to Malaysia, it's very difficult to tell who is actually a local and who is a foreigner. There are many Chinese, Indian, Singaporeans, and different Southeast Asian nationalities all living in Malaysia and wow. they coexist and cohabitate very well. They are a very diverse country. Number five, language unity. Malaysia has a unified national language, Bahasa Malaysia, as well as they speak English. So that's going to be a next point, but I'll hold off on that for a second. Although the Philippines has several different languages and they all speak English, they are not really unified. You speak several hundreds of different dialects yeah, in the Philippines. Yeah, I know that. That's Many true. Many of that has to do with the geography and the past colonization and, of course, lack of education for many in the poor villages and small rural areas. Number six, tourism. Malaysia attracts tourists with its vibrant cities and beautiful landscapes. That's true. Malaysia and Kuala Lumpur have been in the top 20 most visited places oh, wow. in the past 2023. They have an excellent airport, air. So, Philippines, I'm watching this. The Philippines, uh, 4.6 million compared to Malaysia. Oh, my God. 26 million. This was just last year and followed by Thailand. That is, uh, that's a big difference. That is, where, but where, okay, this is from the, uh, C-Asia. Okay. 
airlines and they know what they're doing when it comes to tourism. Not only do they have stunning beaches as well, they also have some of the world's oldest rainforests, so their climate and landscape is very different. Also, many tea plantations in the mountains of Cayman Highland and other smaller cities. Number 7. Ease of doing business. Malaysia has implemented measures to facilitate businesses. That's true. Malaysia actually promotes businesses instead of trying to demote them or scam you like the Philippines. Number 8. Urban oh, wow, development. I didn't know that. Malaysian cities have seen substantial development. It has been on the rise for the past decade. Many people say that the Philippines is a developing country, but you don't really see much progress. It's just a title. You don't see too much happening. They've built one bridge in Cebu City in the past 10 years, and they're very proud of it. All they do is build condos, and those developments come from the Ayala families and others similar to it just to line their pockets with money. It has nothing to do with the growth of the country. They don't even have proper urban planning measures set in place when it comes to roads, traffic, lights, bridges. I don't know. I got to pause it for a second. How do you guys feel about him saying that right now? Is this like true? They just build the condos. They just, uh, these condo, because I know in Cary, Canada, I got to be honest, when you see a whole bunch of condos up, it's just about making money. Like straight up, it's just about making money. They don't care about people. Sometimes people buy these condos and then they go rent them back for like thousands of dollars, man. And people just can't afford to live because the condos are so damn expensive. Like that's not what's going on here in Canada. So is that is, are they doing the same thing over there in the Philippines? Is that what this guy's trying to say, or, or is this guy just talking out his out of you know you know you know what? All these things, sewage systems, water pipes, nothing is planned. They simply build, build, build in order to try oh to make God. money from foreigners like us or Chinese investors that buy these condos and properties without ever stepping a foot in the Philippines. It's just a way for Chinese people to get their money out of communist China. You have to open up your eyes. Yeah, I remember that. What the reality is the Philippines. That's that, 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 that's kind of true there because I know they, they do that as well here in Canada. In order to get money out, they would buy a, like land. They'll buy like houses here in Canada. Just and no one would live in the houses. They'll just buy all these places, buy all these condos and just jack. The prices just keep going up and up. This is why a lot of countries got to change the rules and stuff like that. Like if you're going to buy something, if no one's living there within the first year, either got to tax them really, really high, like super high or tell them, no, you can't be having land here and not, not, not using it, not occupying it. You got to do something, right? Like legit, got to do something with it. Really developing in a positive way. It's all negative and it's not good for the local people because it really prices them out. Most of these condos will never be able to be owned by regular Filipinos who do not have money for this. If any Filipino owns these condos, are the few successful Filipinos here or people working abroad and sending money back home to have these condos purchased? Number nine, technology adoption. Malaysia has embraced technological advancements. That's true. They're high advanced when it comes to technology, as I mentioned earlier. Number 10, healthcare. Malaysia has a well-developed healthcare system. It's not even close. The healthcare system in Malaysia is far, far better than the one in the Philippines. And I'm talking about public hospitals. Number 11, environmental initiatives. Malaysia has implemented various eco-friendly policies, unlike the Philippines who continue to dump trash and pollute the oceans that they have. Number 12, job opportunities. Malaysia offers job opportunities for locals and expatriates. They have a much better job market than they do in the Philippines. Foreigners can actually work there and live and earn some decent income if they are qualified, unlike the Philippines, which is almost impossible to work for a Filipino company for a good wage. Number 13, political stability. Malaysia has maintained a relative political stability. Unlike the Philippines, which is world famous for its political corruption and humanitarian concerns. Number 14, Cultural heritage. Malaysia preserves and celebrates its rich cultural heritage. Unlike the Philippines, where people are divided, they don't know how to feel about the past, whether they have been colonialized for the best or for the worst. People think they are Spanish when they are not. Any excuse to get to separate themselves. People in the Philippines find any excuse they have to separate themselves from dark skinned Filipinos that they call them names, bully them in school. If you have curly hair, they'll make fun of you. And that continues into adulthood. Just look at the Philippines celebrities. All of them are either mixed or light skinned. They do not appreciate their culture or heritage. They probably don't even know what it is, to be honest. Most wow. Filipinos have no idea of their history. 
15. Cuisine. Malaysian cuisine is diverse and widely appreciated. Not even a contest here. Malaysian cuisine is delicious. It's a fusion of Chinese, Indian, and Malay. It's worlds above the Filipino food. If you've ever been to Malaysia, you can get a delicious plate of meats, rice, vegetables for about half the cost as the Philippines, and it's actually wow. tasty and hot. Malaysian food is probably one of the most underrated types of food that I've ever tasted. It is absolutely fantastic. Well, I don't know. I, I, I can't say anything about the food. I mean, the food in the Philippines is really good. I, 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 can't, I can't be the one to compare, but this guy, he says he lived in both of them. I definitely feel like I need to plan a trip to Malaysia. Like I keep saying this just, just so I can know personally and let people know what I think personally of both. Cause I mean, they're in the same area and might as well, you know, I did three months in the Philippines. Maybe this time I'll just say travel for like a year or something and just check out different places. <laughs> right. Like just the whole Southeast Asian kind of, uh, kind of vibe do a whole whole tour and just see what islands i like and what places i like let me know in the comments guys want to see something like that like 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 make like a kind of vlogging kind of thing on this channel let me know 16 connectivity malaysia has a well-connected transportation network yes they have excellent train systems and well-connected roads since they are not separated like the philippines is by so many different islands number 17 innovation malaysia is making strides in research and development they have some of the world's leading scientists and researchers in Malaysia. 18. Quality of life. Malaysia offers a good quality of life for its residents. Yes, they do strive to have a great quality of life in Malaysia. Number 19. Financial hub. Malaysia serves as a financial hub in the region. Number 20. Social harmony. Malaysia promotes social harmony among its diverse population rather than try to divide them for political gain. Number 21, my own personal thoughts. This is obviously being biased, but I do prefer Malaysian women. Oh, They're wow. Less desperate, less scammy, and just physically better looking because oh. they have a mixture of different Asian regions within them. Number wow. 22, less crime, of course. Number 23, cost of living is better. I can go on and on, but let's stop there. Cost Let's take a closer look at some of these stats because numbers don't lie. When it comes to earnings, making a living, the overall GDP, Malaysia versus the Philippines, Malaysians earn about three times as much as Filipinos do. The Philippines ranks at 129th, whereas Malaysia ranks 57th in the wow. world. And you make about three times as much money as you would in the Philippines. Next, we have crime levels. There's about three times as much crime in the Philippines than there is in Malaysia. Murder rates almost three times as well, and intentional homicide is twice as much in the Philippines than there is in Malaysia. A murder rate, 4,900. That's about eight times more murders in the Philippines than oh there's God, in Malaysia. That, that, that's a so lot. So if you're looking for a safe place to retire, Malaysia is a great option compared to the Philippines. That is a Here lot. Here are some other facts that you might find interesting about Malaysia. They have about 2.3 times more force than the Philippines, 1.7 times more education expenditure. So they spend about twice as much on education than the Filipinos do. And they have, of course, a higher GDP, as well as only 2.3% of unemployment, which is really low compared to the Philippines. Malaysia has a longer life expectancy, almost six years longer, and they only have 725 of population density. They only have about 30 million people, 40 million people living in Malaysia compared to 110 million in the Philippines. They have twice as many hospital beds and of course 1.83 higher percentage of internet users. I'll stop reading some stats there, but these stats can go on for a long time without even breaking the surface of why Malaysia is better than the Philippines. A couple quick things I want to know, in case you were thinking that Malaysia is expensive, because it is yeah. probably one of the most underrated countries in Southeast Asia. Here are some things to note. If you're comparing the capital cities of Kuala Lumpur and Manila, you'd be surprised to know that consumer prices in Manila are 6% higher than the Kuala Lumpur. And that's not including rent, which we'll get to in a second. If you include rent, it's 11.6% higher in Manila than Kuala Lumpur. Rent prices alone in Manila are about 30% higher than oh, Kuala wow. Lumpur. Oh, wow. Did not know which that. Which is insane if you think about it. Yeah, that's a lot. Restaurant prices are about the same, only at 0.7%. And grocery prices in Manila are 3% lower than Kuala Lumpur, which sounds good on the surface until you consider the quality of groceries that you get in Manila compared to Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. But I will leave some of these screenshots on 
the screen so you can see the difference when it comes to cost of living. Pretty much everything is more expensive in Manila than not by much. in Kuala Lumpur. And these stats are not just coming from me. They're coming from Numbio, which is a website where real people upload receipts and show evidence of the cost of living. So it's not just a random survey or anything. These are real people answering real costs, which this website compiles and has these stats up for everyone to see. I want to read an article from Philstar, which is a Filipino website and newsletter. This really breaks down the reasons why Malaysia is better than the Philippines coming from a Filipino person, and it's a great way for Filipinos to open up their minds to try and improve their country instead of just having blind faith and blind pride into the Philippines. The article says, Why do investors and tourists opt for Malaysia rather than our country, the Philippines? Yes, we love our country and there may be more fun here, but there are more foreign investors and tourists going to Malaysia. We have better sites and more English-speaking people, but Malaysia outscores us in the Global Competitive Index. I lived there for three years and discovered their secrets. I stayed in Kuala Lumpur, taking care of about half a million documented expats and OFWs, and double that figure in undocumented ones. I know why Malaysians do better than the Filipinos, especially in the economy, industry, trade, and tourism. We speak better American English. Theirs is British English, having been a colony of Britain. Malaysia has a more livable environment, less corruption, and better politics and quality of governance. In the ASEAN, Malaysians used to look up to the Philippines as a number one in 1967 when the ASEAN was founded. Today, in terms of GDP rankings, is Indonesia, Thailand, Singapore, Vietnam, Malaysia, and then the Philippines. Wow. In terms of per like capita, six. first is Singapore, followed by Brunei, Malaysia. Anyways, I won't get into some of these, uh, some of the math, but basically the Philippines is higher tax, 43%, whereas Malaysia is only 38%. Malaysia is slightly bigger than the Philippines, but 330. So this person goes through some of the numbers as I basically did, but it would be cool if you want to read the whole article. I will put the link to this in the description of this video if you want to read the full article. But they go on to say that basically everything I just know. They also mentioned that the Philippines has 46 airports. They only have 34, but these are well managed, less crowded, cleaner, and better ventilated. The Kuala Lumpur International Airport was, was once adjudged the world's best. Naya was tagged as the third worst airport. Correction, as the worst airport now. The truth hurts, wow. but it has to be told to wake up our transport authorities. We have 1,805 seaports. And this is an article they only from, have 1,769, uh, but they have more tourist arrivals. We have 2 million a year. They have 2 million a month. <laughs> Yet we claim that it's more fun in the Philippines. Malaysia is an oil and energy producing and exporting country. It has a production capacity of 306 billion kilowatts. Anyways, I'm not going to read those numbers, but this person is clearly also upset that the Philippines is getting left he behind wants more. and that the Filipino government should do much better. Continues by basically just, you know, breaking down why Malaysia is better than the Philippines. I do want to read the end. The verdict is Malaysia beats the Philippines in most of the categories. Malaysia is better led, better managed, and the people are safer and healthier. They have the how do you guys feel about re like hearing that? Does that make you get angry or does that make you like, okay, maybe my guy is telling some truth. Maybe the government needs to do more. Maybe they are doing more, but are they doing it fast enough? How do you feel about that when you hear that? Put in the comments down below, please. I want to read the comments and believe me, I do read the comments and see what your opinions are. Do you feel like this is true or do you feel like this guy doesn't know what he's talking about? Their own corruption, but graft is an exception, not the rule. We claim Sabah is our own and we have historical and legal bases, but the people of Sabah much prefer to stay with Malaysia. That's the bitter truth. Sad, but true. And truth is what matters most. The truth is what matters most and that's why I make these videos. I don't want to bash the Philippines. I just want people to know the truth. I want people not to be lied to, misled, and I want the people of the Philippines to wake up to what's going on around the world. You have the capacity to go online and be on TikTok 24 hours a day, but perhaps Filipinos should actually apply themselves to improving the country so they can improve tourism and poverty. I'm just one person. I'm a man making these videos. I cannot control everyone, but maybe I can bring the truth, the whole truth. 
and nothing but the truth to prevent other foreigners from coming here based on lies and Filipinos to get better. One last thing I want to mention is that the Malaysia produces its own oil and prices of gas in Malaysia are about one third of what they are in the Philippines. Wow. As I said earlier, the list goes on and on, but that's all I want to talk about today. If you like that comparison, I need to do some like videos. This video, subscribe yeah, I'm definitely going to like this video. And maybe I'll make another comparison. I, I think I uh, got to do some videos about Malaysia, man, just to see what this guy is talking about. If he's talking any truth or not. Yeah. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below. All right? I'm out. Bye.